Welcome back. This is Vicki. Once again, I'm going to work on my Seckle pair. Just as a reminder, I'll go over the colors that I've used. Yellow, Naples yellow, Indian red, magenta, lime peel, and gray are new, two new colors. For shading, I have burnt okra and terracotta. For blending, I have cream, and I've also added my colorless blender. This is my Seckle pair. Um, once again, I'm, today I'm going to be trying to put in these red spots. A little greenish yellow on one side. And on the top, a little greenish yellow before I put the red spots on it. I'm going to start by using a very pointy magenta. I found that to put the little spots on there, you need to really have a sharp point at the end. So that's what I'll be trying to um, accomplish. And for these little red spots, I, I'm still going to tilt the pencil a little bit, but I still need to... Um, use the tip to get the small the smallest dots on there Now I found the green that I want works well if I use this gray pencil on the bottom and then use the lime peel on top and then I kind of get a green that I like. Now I'm going to use my colorless blender, see if I can mix them together a little bit.
Now I'm using my colorless blender. Now I'm going to use my Indian Red to put some of the small blemishes on here. I think that might be a little, provide a little more contrast than the color I was using before, which was magenta. So Indian Red I think here is going to work a little better. They seem to stand out a little bit more. In between now and next time, I'm going to finish these blemishes on the Seco pear. And then we'll take um, a look at the grapes here. These two have been blended a little bit, and if you look at these here, they are not as blended. You can still see some white through the green. So I'll be doing one of these green grapes, and then we'll do a purple, one of the purple ones over here. So I hope this seckle pear is starting to look more like the real one. And between now and next time I'll either buy a new pear or um, I won't have a pear because this one here is getting um, a little bruised up so I think it's going to be eaten between now and next time. So between now and next time I will be continuing and adding my blemishes onto my pear, adding a stem, and then we can take a look next time at the finished seckle pear and start working on layering and blending the grapes. See you next time.